Ah oh, yes, it's another fine day here at the Tokyo Olympics. And we have seen many fine teams so far. Here comes Team Australia. And wait a second, are they all animals? Hey Turtle Squad, I'm Kame Turtle and you are watching Turtle Time. Today we are talking about how Australia apparently has furries in the Olympics. Or at least mascots anyway. I want to rewind the clock a bit. It's been announced that Japan will be hosting the 2020 Olympics. Australia wants to drum up some support or for it from their country. So they get into their head to redesign a few of their iconic mascots, including the boxing kangaroo. But with it being hosted in Japan, they wanted these characters to have an anime vibe to them. So they put out an ad looking for artists. An artist that goes by the name of Land Egg or at Sailor Failures over on Twitter put their hat in the ring. And to their amazement, they got selected. And then they found out what the government wanted them to draw. They wanted to cr take the boxing kangaroo and a couple other characters from previous years and redesign them for the 2020 Olympics, anime style. Now, Land Egg was never a furry artist, but they knew of us. They knew that if they made anthro characters of the boxing kangaroo and others, then they would in fact be inviting our attention. So they went to town on this thing. They redesigned the boxing kangaroo into the field hockey kangaroo as well as brought in a new kangaroo, the Red Surfing Kangaroo. But they also redesigned another character from the 2000 Olympics. I'll be getting into that detail later in the video. Hang tight. So, they think they're just going to redesign some characters for some TV ads or something, right? Wrong. They wanted these characters to be on merchandise. They wanted these to be in comic book format. These were going to be on stickers as well as legal tender issued by the Australian Royal Mint. So yes, there was a good chance that they were going to be able to get these coins from a vending machine at some point. Kind of like the collector coins that we would have in the United States. Landic did an amazing job at this, finding out everything that they wanted to do. But the, apparently the government kept asking for more and more and more. Eventually they had to say no. That's all you're going to get out of me. This project has become bigger than I anticipated. Or at least according to a video I saw talking about this subject. They go along and then 2020 happened. And why everything was not up and running. If you do not know what I'm talking about, what rock has been high under? And is there any room under that rock? Fast forward to earlier this year. Land Egg thought that maybe they went with a different artist because, hey, things have changed. It's been a whole, whole year, at least, to get prepped for it. And maybe they changed their mind. So they went to, to a local grocery store and saw the booklet to promote the 2021 Olympics in Japan featuring their art. They of course freaked out and now they're a minor celebrity in the furry fandom. Of course, we'll see how long the popularity in our fandom lasts. Before I go on, if you like what I've been doing so far, make sure to leave me a like. I mentioned earlier how they redesigned another character from the 2000 Olympics for the 2020 Olympics, or should I say the Paralympics of the year 2000. In 2000, Australia was hosting the Olympics and they created a total of four mascots based on native species of Australia. We had Ollie, the kookaburra, Sid, the platypus, and Millie, it's a Kimda, as well as Liz the Frilled Neck Lizard. The first three were abbreviations for Olympics, Sydney, Millennium, while Liz was just Liz. However, she was selected to be the representative of the 2000 Paralympics because the Frilled Neck Lizard lives on a fairly small stretch of land in Australia that's fairly difficult to live on. So they took a look at this creature and said, this creature looks like the mentality of many of the Paralympic athletes. They might have disabilities, 
they might have a harder time living, but they're going to be at it. They're going to be tough about it, and they're going to show the world what they can do. So, they thought this is the perfect candidate to represent these people. To make sure she properly represents Australia, they had her frill be roughly in the shape of Australia, at least the mainland anyway. And here we are! I'm highly interested to hear your opinion on this matter in the comments below. If you want to check out the artist, I'm going to put a link to their Twitter in the description. If you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share it with friends, family, other furry friendos you might know. I hope to see you all next time. Johnny! Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny!